Hey guys, it's Ryan with another episode of Science Powered Fitness today, talking to you about feed forward and feed back biomechanics. This is the idea that the body needs to have an orchestrated pattern of movement from the center out to control its efficiency. And then there are receptors within our tissues that then send information back to the brain and then tell us how to receive information from the environment. So there's this interplay between the nervous system trying to orchestrate us and then the way that the body responds to the environment and then sends information back into that feed forward or feedback. So it's two concepts, feedback and feed forward. A lot of times when we're working with patients in our clinics, a lot of times we're working on the feedback mechanisms. We're teaching people how the distortion from the sensory receptors of a joint that could be damaged are gonna impact the totality of their feed forward mechanisms. So oftentimes we'll have what's called hypersensit hypersensitization or peripheral hypersensitization. There's another concept called arthrogenic muscle inhibition or flexion guarding. And these are all compensatory patterns where the nervous system seeks to guard or protect when there's trauma. So if you have an acute issue, you would go in and have some type of triage care on that because it has to be prioritized. Something's going really wrong and you need immediate attention to get that thing under control. That's more of an emergency situation or a triage situation. That's normally referred to in biomechanics as pathoanatomy or pathoarticulation. So something's wrong with the joint or the anatomy that supports the joint. And then we have pathokinesiology, which is this global integrated pattern of movement where your body moves as a whole. And it's the accumulation of small micro deficits through the entire system and the impaired ability of the feed forward mechanism to support the healthy joint positions that could be contributing to the local issue. So the goal here is to recognize what's really happening in the body. Is this a deficit in awareness in the way that we move our body as a whole? Is this a feedback issue with the sensory receptors being compromised because of a trauma? Or is it a combination of both of those things? Well, if that's going on, the way to figure that out is through a, a proper assessment where we can see if there's functional deficits, which basically means the whole body isn't operating the way it should, or are there local issues that need to be managed and you need the expert care or guidance of someone who has a subject matter expertise in, in tissue management and health. So the next time you're looking at your body, we want you to think about it not just locally, feedback, but feed forward globally in the integration of the way that you move as a whole. Again, if you want long-term transformative changes, you should look at both. If you want more information on this, guys, make sure to reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Once again, this is Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness saying your body's designed to move, so stay in motion, and we'll see you next time.